It was so much fun. I have to say we capsized twice and turtled once, but it was still fun. This is our third Ida Lewis. Yeah, this is my fourth Ida Lewis. So. We had fun. <laughs> we, uh, we flipped a lot, but we had fun. And this is my third Ida Lewis, so it was really exciting. Oh my gosh, the club was great. Absolutely. The food, delicious. There were so many volunteers. There were so many, just everyone came out. I was surprised at how organized it was. I flipped and came in early. I got hot chocolate and pasta given to me. The staff and all of the host families, they're just so nice and so willing to help us. A lot of the club members decided to volunteer. They were waiter, waiters and waitresses, which I thought was very cool. Um, the race committee was great. The services on the water was awesome with people helping us with our boats at the ramp, in the boatyard, it was just all great. How should you set up your boat? For the big breeze or for the lighter breeze? The clinics were amazing. They were so good. The clinics were so helpful. I mean, the coaches are awesome. You just could go up and ask them something and they'd like be more than happy to tell you. It wasn't like p ranking people, it was everyone was together on the same playing field and everyone got the same amount of attention. I just learned so much while being here. Well, it was also great because we got to meet a lot of the other girls. I mean, if we didn't have the clinics and I went out the first day, then it would have been, I would have been overwhelmed and like, oh jeez. It was, it was like, oh, get your brain back together, get sailing again, and have the coaches get your boat up to speed and go working fast and stuff. The clinics helped majorly. We haven't sailed in that much wind, my crew and I, Heather. Uh, we haven't sailed in that much wind in a long time, so they definitely taught us like how to get back on the boat. The venue is definitely a great venue and um, I also really like the wind conditions. They're changing every day so it helped us like change and get better. And the first day of racing it was crazy and it was nuking and so we just, it, it was hard and everyone was exhausted and ready to quit by the end of the first day of racing but it was really, um, really good experience and it was like puffy and difficult but it was very fun. There's the current, there's the big breeze, the waves, and it's, it can be a difficult place to sail. There's a lot of weather. Such different weather conditions with the current and the chop. It was so much to handle. It was like fun actually like, having some place where it blows that much. So. There's like 20 knots of breeze gusting up to like 28. And um, going down, people flipped all the time, and going down the wind was crazy. You had to like pump and you would on these waves and be like, ah! And it was crazy, it was fun. Actually, I'm not used to the current at all. The current was definitely a big factor that I had to learn about. There were definitely times when it was pretty tough, um, especially the second day. It was just really, really puffy and shifty and like you come to this lull and Caitlin was just like falling in the water. It was really kind of tough, but <laughs> it was good. The second day was like a little tricky and you know, it was just in and out of the boat and it was annoying and we didn't do that well. And then the last race was good, so. I came out of this, like, we didn't do that well, but I felt like such a better sailor at the end of the day. I think it's really good to show girls that, you know, girls can do it too. We can come out here, get dirty like boys, <laughs> so. Well, it's character building. <laughs> well, for me, because I'm not the national champion, clearly, um, but I did get to learn with competitors that were much better than me, and therefore I could gain experience from watching them and just competing against them was great. It's like it's a good feeling to know that there are like so many good women sailors out there and there's like good competition. I think that it gives a lot of girls the opportunity to sail in, in competitive regattas which they otherwise wouldn't have. Not really many girls get into sailing and if they do they're kind of shoved in the corner so it's great to have such a great event. Um, and so much support with it as well. This gets them to be skippers and have girl teams and it's just, it gets the girls out there. I think most of the girls here gain all the confidence that they need to keep going. This regatta and the clinic days, like all the coaches and all the people just help you reach that confidence level that you need to keep going. Everything that we got here was is really gonna help us in future sailing. <laughs>